Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Steel Division 2 with the Armor General campaign. We are nearing the end of this campaign. And personally, uh, in general, I've actually really enjoyed this to the point where I would be willing to do another one. Uh, probably playing as the Soviets that we're actually going to be attacking. And hopefully uh, seeing how much or how entertaining that's going to be. But so far, I've actually been really, really enjoying this campaign. So obviously, in the last episode, spoilers, we obliterated these two T-34 units down here. Uh, the infantry, not so much, there's still quite a few of them are left alive, but we have dealt so much damage to them. Our Panthers, I mean, we've only lost about, I think it was five or six, and we've just done so much damage to them. So, with that being said, now uh, we are going to have to hold for, I think, two more turns. So, I mean, I don't think we're losing this. Hell, I don't even know how you were ever supposed to lose this one in the first place. Because right now it just feels like it's very hard for them to get here. Um, however, we're going to just be repositioning our stuff just uh, ever so slightly. We're going to move this uh, cavalry up Tailun a little bit more north. And it probably would be good to get one of these uh, very elite units. Even though they are dug in, and I'm very aware of that. It would be very nice to get one of them to... Probably reposition. I mean, these guys here are all really close together. So what we'll do, we'll get this Panzergrenadier Regiment uh, to uh, just push a little bit more north. So I have a little bit more coverage there. We'll uh, have the Stug go there and then uh, we should be good. So now uh, we're going to click the next turn and I'm kind of hoping for a battle up here. I, I don't think it will happen. I mean, they're, they are maybe scared i'm not sure we do have some really decent units here now in the panzer jäger regiment or panzer jäger abteilung with some really good units in there we have the uh, jäger regiment with again some really good units including h3 and panzer faust armed infantry and a lot of them so let's move to the next turn and see where their next attack is going to be so they are attacking us down here they are attacking uh, the Kozakin Optilung, which has been hit a little bit. And the nice thing about these Cossacks is that they are recon and they come with a machine gun. Now we have quite a few of those, as you can see. We have close to 35, if not more, Cossacks, which is awesome. And we have the ability to call in some reinforcements. What we'll do, we'll call in reinforcements from the uh, Panzer Regiment with a ton of Panzer IVs. And I suppose we could maybe, what do we have here? No mortars, no mortars. I suppose we could get uh, this uh, mortar unit to come in. Or let's actually, no, you know what? Let's stick with the mortar unit. Or do we get fuck wolves? Because they have no, hmm. You know, let's get some fuck wolves. We haven't had any planes in a long time. Look, coming in phase A and not in phase uh, C, unlike the mortars. And RAA should stop any enemy um, art or enemy airplanes to coming our way. Now these guys have been hammered, as you can see. They've been actually been quite hammered. We've somehow lost a lot of our units here. That might have been uh, when they were uh, coming up against enemy planes. But we're gonna set up our defenses. We have fortifications and stuff to put down. So we'll have uh, to spend a couple minutes there. So we'll be right back at you to take a look at the defenses I have set up. All right. So for some reason, I feel like we got a lot of points, and as you can see, we have quite a few units set up along the front line. I have tried to support uh, weak positions with Panzer IVs, and I've tried to support bunkers with uh, commander or um, leader units to try and up their resilience and uh, have them hopefully survive uh, longer than they normally do. But in general, I'm actually feeling pretty good about this one, so uh, let's just jump into it. We have two fuck wolves also ready on, on standby to hit the enemy with bombing runs. We do not have any air recon, sadly enough, but uh, our um, I'm pretty sure our bunker line here will uh, do a pretty damn good job. Now, last but not least, we have more fuck wolves than I could ever imagine uh, able to be called in. So this is going to be absolutely brutal. We have uh, two of our heavy bunkers set up here, a 75 and a 50. And I believe down here I have a 75 and a 50 just trying to cover each other. And these bunkers, as you can see here, are uh, easily two stars, which is fantastic news. 
and we're gonna start bombing these uh, sort of concentrations of enemy units with our fuck wolves. Sorry, I couldn't. I was trying to think of their name, just to uh, try and um, have our uh, units not waste too much or many HE shells. It's a bomb away, and close. So we hopefully have our. Uh... Does that push a little bit? Fuck a wolf. Might as well start bombing these T 34s. There's four of them back there. That's actually pretty insane. Our Panzer IV is now engaging. Our pa our, they're just shooting my machine gun bunker. Bombs coming out, hits coming in, and that wasn't that bad. Alright, what's going on over here? Let's see. Well, we cannot have, we cannot lose this bunker. Let's get that fails panther up in here. These uh, are getting destroyed. Not. I wouldn't say that it's working amazingly, but they are getting hit. Uh, they have some three-star T-34s here due to... Uh, well, I'm assuming it's their leader nearby, because I don't think they would just get three-star off the bat. Sorry, that's not even possible as far as I'm aware, I should say. Oh, there's a lot of uh, units up here. Especially... their T-34s, there's a lot of them in this unit. I think it's attacking us, so I'm kind of afraid. Just a little bit. Right, luckily, we uh, have an MG to cover this flank. Bombs away. That did not what I was hoping it to do. Gun jammed, that's good. Engine destroyed, driver knocked, loader destroyed, loader wounded, target destroyed. Still got some more targets to deal with down here, though. Okay, so far, pretty decent. We're holding on. We haven't not lost a bunker here yet, it looks like. It would be nice to get some Cossacks down in here to hold this area. Some Cossacks down in there. There we go. Oh, they're being bought. Oh, they're being hit by the machine gun. That's great. Our Panther is coming in, and uh, we've pretty much dealt with the majority of these units down here. And I mean, they still look here. It's being machine gun as they are running away. Alright, MG42 bunker. There goes one of their comrades. MG42 bunker is hitting them as they're running into the forest. Now over a kilometer away, which must be really hard to hit any targets at that point. Uh, and we have. Uh, our 75 bunk over here, which is to, granted is being pinned, but as long as we can hit these trucks, stop them from being repaired, be sweet if we could take out. Let's pack 37 isn't going to do anything though, which is kind of annoying. What if we just switch targets here and hit one of these uh, tanks instead and then have the pack bunker try and kill the truck? There we go, that's good. We need to get rid of those trucks, I think, to make sure that we can uh, keep our ground here. This is good. This area here is under some attack. <laughs> we could use a bomber instead of bombing that. There's a lot of units down here. Do we have anything? We have some pioneers. Let's call some pioneers in up here. They do have half tracks, which is awesome. You need some supplies back here. There's not. Oh, hello. I don't think that was on the plan here. Let's get an Aufklärung Panzer IV. As our Panther is now pushing up into range. Why is on these guys over there? They're gonna get destroyed. I'm trying to see what's going on here. Okay, the bombing run, it looks like was a success. Panzer IV is engaging. Oh, that was a bad shot. This Panzer IV might not survive. Yep. There, okay, that was... You actually lost that Pack 75 bunker, but, I mean, it's been stopping them for a while. 
They're at targets in the form of a artillery piece or a mortar, as well as the artillery just down here. It's going to be a good target for us. And we are actually destroying this D-34. Oh, loader is killed. Let's pull this one back. Oof, that sucks. Lost another Panzer IV. Panzer IV is a, a lot squishier uh, than, uh, pan than Panthers are. I guess who saw that coming, right? Get this leader unit out of here. Perhaps put it in the tree line here with the Panzer IV. Uh, they are getting... These Panzer IVs are actually not doing good against these T-34s. I was assuming they were gonna... I didn't think that Panzer IVs were indestructible, but I definitely gave them a little bit more worth than just getting seen here and getting wrecked by the uh, enemy T-34-85. So, we'll have to see what happens here. Let's get another uh, Fuck Wolf, hit these infantry. That's gonna suck if we don't fall back. Okay, there's a lot of units here right now. Look at these pioneers to disembark. And uh, try and... Uh, we're gonna try and hold the ground here. It's getting harder. They have two flags. Fuck wolf, drop bombs over there. Drop some more bombs over here. Now, Recon Panzer IV is on the way. Our left is uh, doing pretty good compared to our right. Um, we do not have... I mean, I guess we can just keep sending in more Panzer IVs, but I feel like they, they're not going to do good. They're, they don't do good at the range that they have to do good at. So, they have 2,000 meters, 135 pen. And these have 145 pen at 2,000 meters, so they have a little bit more penetration, and they have a lot more armor, which is the main issue that we're dealing with here. Uh, we need to pull this Panzer IV back, and I don't think the only truck that we have was in there, so we need to get this truck all the way back here. Okay. We do have one Panther available, so hopefully it can make it work. On these units. Now our bunker here is, I mean, this is it's a light bunker, but it's being absolutely destroyed at the moment. We did take down an enemy Panzer, or enemy, enemy T-34-85 somewhere. We have one single Panther available. So it's going to have to do uh, the Lord's work, so to say. Two star. Perfect hit. Taking out the gun on a T-34-85. Basically rendering it incapable of return fire. Now there's another T-34-85. It bounced. We're playing a very dangerous game right here. A very, very dangerous game. That it's going to be very hard to get out of if we get stuck here. Come on. Nice. Good. That's fair. That's good. And enemy T-34 has been annihilated. Okay. We're going to try and deal with these enemy, uh, other enemy vehicles that are approaching us right now. Can we try and take out more T-34s with this Panther is going to be the main question. So we're getting this T, this Panzer IV and the truck are back. Panzer IVs are pushing up here to the front. But it's kind of proven now that these guys aren't as good as I thought they were going to be against these T-34-85s. I was thinking, oh, it's going to be a relatively... I'm not making an easy battle, but it'll be an interesting battle. But it's going to be an interesting battle considering we can't really do much against them and we're being slaughtered at the moment. we got to stop these guys before they really come close to us. Which isn't going to be easy. Because they're, well, they're already close as we're speaking. We've got to keep them here. Our Panther is engaging at. Oh, 
Oh, spalling, bounce. Who's gonna hit first? Fire away! T34 down. Over here, we are bombing them. Oh, we're trying to bomb them. Okay, we managed to get rid of these units pushing. The half might have helped a little bit there. Cossacks are being destroyed left, right, and center. I don't know where you're going. Come back. Okay. Panther is still alive. Trying to kill guys on this side. They do have a couple of flags here. They're definitely doing better than I was going to give them credit they were going to probably do. Okay, get a leader tank here as well. Prepare this one. Fall back, Cossacks, push up over here, get out. Push down over here, push, 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 push out. Okay, we're gonna try and deal with... Oh man, there's a lot of... Uh, I need to get this T-3045 down here. Oh, the city is gonna be lost and they're gonna put guys in here. Uh, we need some Panzer IVs in the city. Those actually have a decent chance. We need to stop, get them in the city before they get in the city. Okay, I just lost this Panzer IV. Just totally built out on me. Now we have to hope that this T-34 is just wasting its time. Which it kind of did, and... Side shot, side shot, but it's reloading way before us. Damn, that really sucked. Didn't... It was sideways, but somehow it already started loading around, even though it didn't really see us, so... Oh, no, whatever, it's just unlucky. Um, we'll have to keep bombing them though. We have a lot of airplane and power available. We're getting 15 points, so we can basically call in a new plane every minute. Every time we bomb, as long as we get kills, it's it's good. I'm trying to get into the city before they can. Okay, we're doing all right. It sucks that we lost that Panther, though. That was my, uh, my real, like, my only good unit height left on this side. All right, we need to get another Panzer here. Okay. We're trying. Trying really hard. Trying to keep them out of the area here. Fuck wolf, ready to bomb. What do we have? Any any unit we can get down, and just like one or two guys is an easy easy pick for our men. I am not really sure how we're gonna do this. Should have got probably gotten some more infantry, but who kind of, who kind of assumed that we were gonna lose this flank this hard or this? Battle is hard, really. Bombs away. New one ready. Any infantry we can bomb is less infantry they can have to send at us, which is great. Panzer 4 has a target. Moving your commander back if possible. We are in a lot of trouble over here. Okay, push out, push out, push out. These guys are not doing good. They're actually running up the hill here right now, man. Oh god. These Cossacks have no AT whatsoever. There goes these. Look where those mortars are coming from. 
And we're still holding some flags, but it's getting relatively brutal down here. Objective secure. Alright, let's move them up over here in comp. Nice! Loader wounded! You better hit that on again. Come on. Damn it! Bastard! It's two versus one, I can't even fight it! I can't fight them! Engage! It's it's one v it's one v one! That's the first shot he should have hit! Come on! Loader wounded! Side shots on some infantry, who cares? Folks on the tanks! Oh, we got him! Good lord! I've lost his half track over here. Our bombing runs are ready. Oh man, oh man. I think, uh, uh, these guys are also in a world of trouble. We are not even able to pen it from the front with, it, like, a sh relatively short range. We're mission damage. It, we're taking, like, three, four, five, six shots here. More shots coming out. There is a lot more on the way than we are really capable of dealing with. Fine. No, we still haven't... Oh, we took down one of them. But another one shows up. Our gun is jammed on the leader. We need to pull it back. One of the loaders here is wounded. Ow, ow, ow. Man, man. Oh, God. All right. The German Luftwaffe is arriving. I wish we had Stukas with, like, 37 millimeter guns on it or something along those lines. But we don't. We're stuck with using the... Just the bombing fuck wolves, but if they get those points and that's all that matters, we can get a lot more bombers for our money. Let's try and just keep harassing them. Keep bombing these mortars, bomb their trucks, bomb their infantry. We've lost another Panzer IV over here. This is starting to look really bad. Alright, at least the far left is good. We are still 19 to 7. So what really matters here is the fact that we take home the money, our truck back here needs repairs Panzer fours are engaging at max range, they're not really doing anything, they're just kind of tickling each other back there pioneers are being engaged alright, let's go back to the road okay Well, this is where these tanks should shine, right? This is where it should have a great flanking shot at a triple vet. What is it seeing? What is it going to shoot at? Oh, here we go. Alright, triple vet versus one star vet. That's a bounce, and that's an instant death! It was a 900 meter shot, that was brutal. Really, uh, oh man. Really kind of showing the weakness here of the German armor. There is nothing we can do about these T-34s. This is what it must have been like for them dealing with, um, basically trying to deal with our Panthers initially. The last two battles, this has been horrible. Leader Panzer IV is a free shot. It didn't fire yet. That was an easy shot. Leader Panzer IV, fantastic. Okay, we gotta do that again though. You gotta somehow take this first shot. Oh, crew killed, bastard! There's nothing, there is nothing we can do to bring anything towards these Panzer, uh, these T 3485s. I know I probably shouldn't be picking direct fights at these max ranges, but there isn't. 2,000 meters is a lot of range. They have a lot of eyes out over here, and we really could have used some... Uh, oh, man, that sucks. Could have really used some of these to go down. Why don't we just mass bomb one of them, and then that might do something. Like, look at the Luftwaffe coming out in the last day. Well, not the last days. Might as well be the last days, but you know what I mean. That is uh, a few tons of bombs being dropped on just one T-34. We're going to see what happens here. Nice! We took one down. Don't know why I had to waste all my bombers on that one, but it did do its job. So, I mean, it, 
We need to stop them from pushing all the way through with minor defeat in 12 and a half minutes. Our Panzer IVs are in such a horrible state. We've lost probably close to 10, if not more, at this point. We're trying to get rid of these T-34s. If just bombing them into oblivion is what it's going to take, then I'm not going to shy away from that. We're just literally getting more planes than you've ever seen. Okay. Bombs. 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 They're a little bit quicker there. Build out. We lost another Panzer IV. This is going absolutely horrible. At least the German Air Force is uh, showing its, its well. Panzer IV down again. There isn't much we can do. We're just being hammered. Oh, we took that one down. Let's see if we can do anything. Oh, we took another T-34 down. I feel like we've found the solution. It's just to bomb them into absolute obliteration. Uh, there's not enough bombs in the world to take care of them, but you know, if that's what it takes, we have uh, enough points to spend on bombs so we can do all day for sure. All right, let's get them going. Especially if they're tracked or damaged. Seems like that was a pretty damn good thing to do right there. Uh, we just need to get more recon forward. So we bomb those guys, get a recon up here. Uh, Cossacks, we need more recon coming in here. So we just need a lot more guys and just to try and spot stuff for us really is the solution. But that's what it takes. Like we're going to just triple bomb the inf well, infantry just lost seven guys. That's fantastic. We're double bombing this T-34, which is also gone. I think we've just found a solution. Those 250 kilogram bombs really do tip, carry a punch, pack a punch uh, when it comes to these uh, Soviet tanks out here. So let's uh, set up in these trees, get our infantry coming forward. And yeah, we didn't do great. We, we really could have done a lot better, but man, I'm happy that we're surviving here. Uh, is surviving is the real is the I think the correct word we're doing not much more than just pure surviving but if, if we survive then that's fair also how do you how did you spot my infantry there did, did they walk out of cover for like a second I'm surprised they saw them but it doesn't matter we'll we'll bomb the mortar that's hitting us thanks for giving yourself away and man I am just surprised at how good we've been holding this really oh here comes some PTRSs we're going to take my Panzer IV here in a second. I don't think this Cossack unit might not win because I do have PPSH. It's going to come down to who wins. No, we're not winning, so we're going to fall back out of there. Alright, let's Vetka. Let's bomb them. That's pretty much the answer to all my questions now. I feel like I'm playing as the Americans. Okay, bombs away. Uh, Razvetka are done. Get them out of here. Bomb these units. Look at this. Just look. I can spam airplanes all day. I unironically will do it if I have to. Here comes the bombing runs! Look at the amount of planes. Look at this the amount of bombs coming out. Man, 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 that's just brutal. Oh my god, look at that. And when the second, whenever those uh, guys are done retreating or done falling back, we'll just call them back down here and see what's going on after that bombing run. That was actually pretty good. Let's get these uh, pioneers to maybe push forward uh, up to there. Try and get some eyes on. And we have uh, mortars. Stelki. They're engaged and they should be goners. There we go, sweet. Yeah, we even captured a flag back. Look at that. Alright, 
Now, I don't know where those shells were coming from. I was too busy focusing on bombing these infantry out here. These poor dudes. Wow. That's a very, very brutal. And there we go. Took another two of them down. So, uh, bombing runs doing their job. Perhaps try and get some more eyes on again, if possible. We spotted infantry. We spotted infantry. They're gonna get shot. Um. Okay. Well, our pioneers have got their eyes on these guys. They're not even gonna last very long. And the pioneers are pretty good. There you go. They're they're gone. Get the flag back. Two and a half minutes for a major defeat, which is uh, perfect. We're still doing tons of damage. It looks like the bombing runs here. That just enormous number of units that we got actually took down the uh, enemy T-34 that was sort of being up set up here to repair. We've captured back a lot of our ground that we'd initially I think we were down to maybe I think they were up to 10 or so flags but it looks like we've captured that back which is great. We're losing a flag here which is fine we'll get some Cossacks to come check it out. Oh no. That's kind of scary that they're like literally in our backyard here. So we'll get some units to bomb them. Uh, we'll take out this combat. Two on the Sapri. And uh, we'll check this really close range with the Panzer IV. They're just across the bushes here. I'm surprised this Panzer IV is actually didn't get into trouble. They do have, a, one, they have an RPG-43, but they are no longer trouble. Uh, for anyone ever, because they're gone. Uh, two bombing runs coming in over there. And we should be... Uh, there. Yeah, they're gone. They didn't come back from that one. I'm trying to see... Uh... Oh, dude, we're capturing back some flags. At this point, if we see anything, we can just quadruple bomb it. It, specifically if we see any tanks or anything like that. Okay, so our Panzer Force led some brutal losses. It really wasn't something I was hoping that was going to happen. It really, really, really wasn't uh, my initial plan, obviously, to lose all those Panzer Fours. I think we did find a good way to get rid of Panzer Fours, or of T-34s, by using my planes. But it's not... I don't think that's a great solution. Obviously, Panthers and Tigers and um, Tank Destroyers are okay, but hell, even a Stug probably has a hard time dealing with the with the T-34 at range, which is kind of scary. It's kind of scary, um, and I'm really interested to see uh, how that's going to go when, you know, we have to do more battles like that. Because I, I, I can't say I wasn't really feeling it. I can't say I was really very confident in my Panzer IVs being able to do much about the T-34s, but we took down a lot of them. You know, the point is they attacked us, we held our bunkers, held the line, and in the end it's interesting to see uh, what happened. So we lost 68, they lost 164. So now it really comes down to what did we lose. Uh, we lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We lost 17 Panzers and a uh, Panther. Now they lost 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 21, 22, 20, okay. Somewhere between 20 and 25 T-34. So we basically went one to one there. Or with our fuck wolves really taking the brunt of that. And I mean, our bunkers did take down a oh, whole look at this. This took so much infantry down. But our Panzer IV is really showing that they're not capable of dealing with T-34s in a head-to-head -head at max range. Really, really brutal on the T on the Panzer IV end. And that was uh Yeah, that was that was rough. 
glad that, you know, that's a unit with, I think, 60 or so. Oh my god, we just destroyed those guys. Alright, well, uh, the issue is I, I can't save here, so we're kind of forced to do another one. Uh, what we'll do, though, we'll uh, come back in the next episode with this defense, where we have uh, a couple of, it looks like we have SUs, Mechanized, and Kavlarip uh, infantry attacking us here. So we'll probably set up a defense, right? But for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Forget to be awesome. Cheers.